Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are talking Instagram. A couple of months ago, I was talking to a friend of mine who has, I want to say, 400,000 Instagram followers and shoots a lot. Like he posts every single day. He has, you know, hundreds and hundreds of photos. And I said, wow, you really, you know, you must be working every single day um, to shoot. He said, actually, what I do is go maybe twice a month, um, go out with a bunch of models, a uh, bunch of outfits and shoot like hundreds and hundreds of shots. And then I just automate it so that they get posted every day. And I thought, wow, what an interesting challenge to do as many setups, um, as many different outfits and looks and lighting setups in a day as you can. So I got together with Madison Fitz, a actress and model friend of mine, and we just spent a couple hours um, trying out uh, a lot of different looks um, in the hope of producing a bunch of content um, for Instagram. So we spent about four hours um, in the hills, in Griffith Park, and in the studio doing as many you know, quality, different lighting setups as we could, which for me was a really great exercise in shooting um, the same model in multiple ways for different sets of photos um, all in a single day. So we started out in Griffith Park and it was the middle of the super bloom. The whole of um, the Wisdom Tree Hill was covered in these beautiful flowers. It also has these interesting looking power staunchions they were able to use for different angles and different light. Uh, we were there at about 11 o'clock, so it was kind of high sun. And I had Ian, the uh, guy who was helping me shoot that day, um, hold a reflector to fill in the shadows. So we got a couple of shots of her standing at the um, power structures. A couple of shots of her lying in the flowers, a couple of shots of her um, sitting around in different types of flowers, um, all with pretty much the same outfit. I was shooting on my 5D Mark III, uh, which is still an absolute killer camera. Um, I have shot a bit on the EOS R and I like it. Um, the reason being that you can tell immediately um, what your exposure is because of the um, electronic viewfinder. Um, this is showing your settings on the screen. You don't have to shoot a whole bunch and then realize you're over or underexposed. So I do like that. I also like that it's significantly smaller. Um, so I may change over to the OSR in the next couple of months. Um, we'll see how it goes. Next, we went back to the studio and I wanted to get some backlight shots while the sun was still pretty high. I put this, uh, you know, six by six, just uh, fabric of um, caught a soft grid on the window, let the sun come through, and then had a IntelliTech 2x1, is it the uh, Light Cloth 100, um, as my key. Then I changed that out for the LC160 set, which is two 4x4 um, lights that sit on a kind of collapsible panel and give you this big um, 4x2 light source. What I love about this is it actually looks like a window in the eye of the model. So it does, even though it's lit, it gives a really naturalistic look. Um, it gives you this window that you can move around, control the brightness, control the color temperature of because they are bi-color lights, run off batteries if you need to. Um, and it gives this beautiful soft wrapping light um, that's perfect for portraiture. Next, we moved on to a quasar um, top and bottom setup, which is more of a kind of science fiction, maybe even like mug shoddy kind of look, Guardians of the Galaxy, I call it, um, with uh, double back kickers. The last two setups I did were natural light, uh, doorway light shoots. One in the doorway of my studio, uh, which gives this nice angled light. Doorway light is a really wonderful place to shoot. One, because you don't need to light it, but two, because of the big separation in zones. Um, if you have someone stand in a doorway, they'll be lit by the reflected light outside or the sun itself. And behind them, um, the dark of the house or the studio or the interior will also be you know, four or five stops darker. So it really, highlights the subject. All in all, we took about five or 600 shots. Uh, maybe 80 of them were good and I ended up editing maybe 40 of those. If I were to post these on my Instagram, um, I could get over a month worth of content with one model. Now, of course, you don't really want your Instagram feed to be one model for an entire month. Um, what people do is do this over a couple of months and then interspace the models. Um, so you're posting new pictures of different people every single day with different lights. Uh, but it was a real eye-opener for me how many, if you actually set out to do lots of different photos, lots of different setups, lots of different outfits, um, you really can get uh, a couple of good shots with each one of them very, very quickly. 
It's almost like shooting a catalog. I really enjoyed it. I really encourage people out there to do this as a creative challenge and just really see how many um, bits and pieces you can get because uh, it's a great way to, to push yourself and explore new things. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Madison and to Ian for helping out. Um, I'll leave a link to their Instagrams um, in the description below. Uh, you can also find the lights that I used um, and the cameras and the lenses. And I will see you next time.